What up, Jippers? L plays back once again for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. I am finally, finally back in PSVR. This is all I have wanted, all I've been able to think about. It is freaking insane and I don't ever want to do anything else in my life. Uh, but I did want to try out the Xbox version. Oh, it feels good. It feels good to be home. I am being attacked by freaking pirates. So we're about to have our first ever dogfight in a spaceship in full VR mode. Is that the pirate that attacked me over there? Oh, I was getting shot. Are they nearer? Oh my gosh. Look how crisp this looks. I feel like either I'm getting more used to it or it's looking even crisper than it did like when I had it working the first time. How incredible is this right now? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to try to move my head a bit slower and a bit less jolty than I did in the first episode. I was very excited, so you have to kind of allow me my... Oh no, I've got that uh, pop-in box glitch thing when I try and shoot them. Dang it! They are rolling out so... Oh wow, oh wow. I want to get close to it. Oh, he's spinning! Oh, I cannot explain how good this feels in VR. I want to fly alongside another ship. I didn't realize that would be cool, but that was cool. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, look at that! Like flying around with another ship. I am, I am gonna like, I am gonna push it. I'm gonna see if there is anything I can do. I, so I've never had any problems with VR, even though it's like a lot of people get sickness and stuff. And I kind of am just loving like zipping around, spinning, going upside down, all sorts of crazy stuff. I almost wish I could do it even faster. But we'll find out in this dogfight if uh, if that holds up, I guess. Because <laughs> this has got to be the most intense VR experience that there can be. Uh, what if I switch to... Oh my gosh! They're cool! Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, alright. I got him in my sights. Ah! Oh, okay. So that's definitely like a little glitch thing with the VR at the moment. I've seen a lot of people saying that when they mine stuff as well. You get the little black box. Which is a shame, but I'm guessing it won't last very long. Oh, how... I kind of don't even want to shoot them. I kind of just want to fly around with them like this. How... Like, how... <laughs> what? In, like, I feel like you haven't lived until you've flown alongside another ship in No Man's Sky in VR. This... This is one heck of an experience. Oh, I want to do this in co-op, like, with actual friends. Like, all of us just flying together in VR. Like, trying to do, like... We can do, like, synchronized flight things in VR. And, oh, my gosh. Okay, this is great. I'm not going to try and fight them. I'm going to... I'm going to... We're going to go to this planet, but I kind of... <laughs> kind of, like... Uh, like, I don't know. Is it possible to just, like, die of bliss? Like, too much happiness? Look at that. I can't get over this view. The view of just looking out of the side of your ship into the great beyond like that I'm in creative mode so it doesn't actually matter that they're shooting me all I can kind of just let them do it but I am enjoying watching them fly around and flying around with them and I love these rocket things let's see if we can kill him the black box thing is kind of annoying but I do want to see if I can get him to blow up was it that one? Oh, he is almost down down! We got him! We got him! I have killed my first pirate in VR. Ha! That's what you get, fool. Okay, okay. Well, this is the planet. I want to go to the planet. Let's go, let's go. Uh, I'm going to have to outrun him. I am in a freaking space chase. <laughs> like, this is absolutely ridiculous. I can't... I can't believe this is a real thing that I'm doing right now. But it's happening. I'm just sitting in my spaceship flying to this crazy planet off in the distance whilst being attacked by some pesky bounty hunting pirate that's after my loot. I don't even have any loot. Leave me alone. <laughs> he must just not like me. Okay, I think we're going to have to we're going to have to destroy him, you know. We're going to have to do this. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. Oh, how like oh, it looks good. It looks so good to see another ship flying like that. No! I need to try out the uh, the PC VR. Because obviously it will look even better. I'm just really off put at the moment because I love using the controls. I've tried out the move controls. Uh, 
I mean, the way they've implemented it is very good, but I still just prefer playing on a controller. That's just what I... For me, that's the perfect VR experience. Full locomotion, smooth, fluid movement, camera, everything, just kind of normal, regular controls on a DualShock 4. Uh, that's what I like. That's the ideal VR world for me. All right, here we go. Huh? Enemy... D oh, no! Did I get more of them attacking me because I killed those other ones? Have I got a... Um... Oh, cool. Uh, okay, well, we can make light work of this guy, right? If I can actually aim. Oh, there's... How many of them are there? Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> I am... Okay, I feel like I'm better at this in VR than I am not in VR. Uh, oh, the green ones are on my team. Yeah! We have called in the cavalry. Oh, my gosh. I have got... Look at this. I have friendly spaceships flying around. Helping me in a freaking dogfight. Oh, this is going to be so good when I'm playing multiplayer with someone. Me and just Jared, like, flying alongside each other, doing crazy stuff. I'll probably, I'll probably end up shooting him. <laughs> okay, I feel like... Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a, that's a cool looking shot as well. Get wrecked, fool! Pew, pew, pew! Ah, I missed him, missed him. I am so bad at aiming. I am so bad at aiming. He's going down, he's going down, he's going down! Get him! Get him! Come on! Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh, he's like, yes, yes, yes! Okay, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. We've got to fly now, we've got to fly to a planet now. Have I been to this planet? I'm going there, I'm going there. Oh, that looks good. It looks like a good planet. It looks like a good planet. Woo! Okay, so dogfighting in space is, is even cooler than everything else I've done so far. The little black box glitch, I'm getting that as well then on PSVR. Uh, but hopefully that's fixed in like one of the next patches. It shouldn't be too long But that like just seeing another ship like fly past you like that That is ah oh. I didn't even think about how cool that would be but that was cool. That was definitely one of those things just like Yeah, more of that please more of that please Okay, here we go. Here we go. We are coming down Ooh, ooh. I saw some pictures on Twitter of um a bl oh. <laughs> I'm still, I'm still like not over the the wow factor yet. It's just, what in earth is that? Oh wow, I am in like a crazy cloud right now. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my! Oh, this is beautiful. I am just flying through the fog above a freaking ocean. I've just gone from like a crazy dogfight in space to this, like a tranquil ocean flyby. How close can we get to the? Oh golly! Oh golly! Oh golly! Woo! I love her. Uh, I love just like turning, <laughs> like turning with it, turning with it. I wish I had one of those chairs that like uh, simulates like the the cockpit movement, because turning with it is. I don't know, there's something about that that just feels crazy. Oh gosh, I almost died. Ooh, little, little teeny tiny bump. Don't worry about that. I'm a, I'm a pro pilot. Okay, let's get out of this cloud, out of this storm. Uh, can I? Can you fly to like a part of the planet that's not stormy? Because obviously you can just like fly to the daytime side of any planet you want. But I don't, oh my gosh, there is just ocean everywhere here. I need a bit of land. Is there a flat bit of land that we can actually land on? Oh my gosh, this is like an 80% ocean planet or something. That looks promising over there. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, there, there's a place we can land. There's a place. Oh my gosh. How cool does that look? Just looking. Oh, looking at the ocean. Just over my shoulder. As we fly up to this island. <laughs> Oh, this is, this is it. This is, this is kind of, this is like the gaming experience that I've always, always needed. And I didn't even realize it until I played it. Ex oh dear. Vorigira. Extreme. Oh, this is that, uh, oh, this is that cool grass that I love. The bubbly grass. I haven't seen this in a long, long time. I used to freaking love this stuff. I, yeah, I haven't. I've seen this in a really long time. Like, I don't even know how long it's been since I saw grass like this. 
Where's that noise? Is there a... Oh, we got something. Oh, they'll be fish, won't they? Look at this. The ring planet. My little ship just parked on this island. <laughs> oh, next to the lone tree and the, the ring. Oh my gosh. This is freaking beautiful. These are new, right? These flowers? I haven't seen... Are these new? They look cool. I like oh, the colors. The colors and the vibrancy being back is just... That's making me so freaking happy. Okay, here we go. I love this. I freaking love this. Oh my gosh. This is way, way deeper than the little bit of ocean I got to explore in the first episode. Oh, this is cool. Oh my gosh, this is very cool. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. I want to... I really, really want to be in the submarine right now because that's going to make this so... Because, like, it... I can't explain it, but sitting in a chair... And I think it helps, like, having, a like, a, a leathery type of chair that looks kind of like the one in the ship. But when I'm in a cockpit in the VR thing, sit, like, just... If you sit back in your chair, like, as you move forward, it just... I can't explain how... I know it sounds silly, to, like, but it's it feels like you're so in the moment, like, in it. Okay, here we go. We are gonna... <laughs> I can't... I just can't stop, like, laughing. Oh, we got, like, uh, otter things! That is it. Is that... Oh. Oh. It looks so good. It looks so good. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, concentrate, concentrate. I, I need to, like... I'm not going to be able to concentrate on anything. I'm going to be too excited the whole time. Oh, it's getting dark here. That's scary. Um, the Nomad. So I couldn't figure this out before. Did I just... Okay, okay. Oh, no. I... The Nomad is not what I... <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean the Nomad. I meant, <laughs> I meant the Nautilon. What am I doing? Do you even know Man Sky? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Let's try this. So I couldn't figure out the controls for this before. And I wasn't sure if it was just me being a bit of a dummy dum-dum. Or if it was like actually broken or something. Like I had no idea. So I can I can go... I oh, see I turned there. Uh, oh okay. I, how, how is it? Ah! Okay I can turn left. <laughs> I can turn left. But I can't turn right. <laughs> like, so the, the left trigger turns me left. Uh, I don't know, like, is that a... Oh, now... I, hold on. Now the left trigger turns me right. Okay. Is there, like, a... Is there... Oh! Oh, no, no! Get back in! Get back in! Get, oh, look at it spinning! Oh, my gosh! Oh, oh, I could, like, spin in my chair with it. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go forward because that's very like the ins the interior. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the interior of the Nautilon is my favorite by far. I love all of them, but like all of the lights and like I don't know, it feels really claustrophobic. Like I'm actually in a little tiny submarine, and all of this stuff up here, like the window that goes like right the way up, all of this sort of stuff. I freaking love it. I have, I've got a radar. I wonder if that actually does anything. There's a little radar there. Hmm. I, I really, really want to know how to control this thing. But at the moment, it's just like... It's like... Now I'm going... Now it turns right again. Sometimes when I press it, it turns... Oh, hold on. Is it something to do with where I look with my VR head? No, I don't think so. There is something. There's got to be something. There's something that I'm doing. <laughs> and I, I cannot, for the life of me, figure out what it is. So X is to go up. Oh, that. Oh, let's go up to the top. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. And you just hold it to, like, stay on there. <laughs> oh, it's raining. Oh, it feels lovely. It just glides across the top of the ocean. Oh, that's cool. And we've got this beautiful yellowy orange sky right now as well. 
Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, that's very cool. If I could, if I could figure out. Look, now I'm turning right. I'm only ever pressing the left. St oh, hold on. No, it's not where I. So uh, I, I realized as well that you point this. Uh, you point this and you basically use it as like a motion control thing uh, when you're mining and all that sort of stuff. So that's what the white circle is. That's where I'm pointing my thing. Um, and that's why I couldn't aim at anything with my mining tool. Because I was just sitting there pressing the button, but I, I wasn't aiming. I don't know how to stop. So I know how to spin. Woo! That's probably really disorientating for some of you watching. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so I don't know, I feel like, I do kind of feel like this is one of those times where I'm just being really silly and I'm missing what the control scheme is, but at the same time, I've tried twice now and I cannot <laughs> for the life of me figure out what's making it sometimes turn left and sometimes turn right. There's some, there must be so. it would be like the controller that I didn't realise, there's probably something that I'm doing that I don't realise I'm doing. I don't know. The only thing I can think, so turning my... That way, then. What if I do this? Okay, and that's left. No, that still goes left. See, it's going left. Um, and then that stops it. What if I press it, like, with... No, I don't know. I don't know. No idea. I don't know. I can't... If someone knows how that works, let me know. But let's go and see what other cool little fishes we've got uh, down... Oh, my gosh. There's a lot of creatures here. So if I point at them, yeah, that works. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so I point at whatever I want to. That's how I aim my little uh, multi tool when I'm not using the move controllers. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And then I want to see the notes um, for that creature. What do I need to look? Oh, that's weird. The top of the menu is like above the water, and the bottom of it is in the water. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Uh, right, this is the planet I'm on. This is the creature. It says a grass. So this is how I know that some people's VR on PlayStation isn't working properly. The people that are saying it's like super blurry, I'm just not getting that. And I've seen some of their video and it's like the words, like when you try to look at the menus, it's just blur. Like you can't see anything. Mine seems to be working fine. I don't, like it must be, it must be some sort of intermittent bug thing that's affecting some people. Like the multiplayer stuff's uh, only impacting some people. Because I can see it like completely fine. And obviously when you're seeing on the video, it's not going to look as cool as what I'm seeing right now. Because it's like, you lose all the depth, and it flattens out, and it doesn't look as good on YouTube. But like, you can clearly read the writing. A grassland creature at home in lush, uh, lush plains of planet Vorg Vorgia? Uh, their lives are short, and saltwater fish spend their days in desperate swim to find a willing mate. Scavengers, they feed upon the soft downward drift of plankton, feasting upon the dried remains of tiny organisms. Uh, oh, oh! His additional observation is that he's a good parent. Oh, what a good squid boy! Okay. Oh, wait a minute. He's a good. Hold on. No way. He's a. This can't. Is that coincidence? He's a good parent, and his name is P. Is is his name's Pappy? His name is literally Pappy, and he's a good parent. <laughs> oh, that was cool. If that is a coincidence, that's crazy. I like that. That's nice. That was nice. Okay. Okay. I don't care about the extreme weather conditions. Get it. I kind of want to turn the HUD off, you know. Oh, wait. I bet you can't even do that in VR. Can you turn off the HUD? I wonder if you can turn off the HUD in VR. We're learning all these things together. <gasps> oh, you can. Oh, wow. Okay, that is cool. Oh, this is... Oh, that is really cool. I... Oh, my gosh. He just... He just swam into me and exploded. I did not touch him. Officer, I swear. Oh, that's kind of scary. Yeah, look how deep this freaking ocean is. What in the world? Okay, like, this is massive. It probably was always massive. Because if you think what your little geck looks like in third person, it's like this big on the screen, right? But now I'm that geck. And everything has scaled up accordingly. Like, this ocean feels like a, an actual quite scary place, you know? Uh, let's scan. Oh, I like that! You can still scan stuff with the HUD off. That's what I used to hate about playing with the HUD off before. I used to want to play with the HUD off, except when I wanted it on, you know? <laughs> you know, you know, that makes perfect sense. So I need to remember that I can aim uh, with this thing. Oh, I've got all of those. Let me get one of these. 
Can I aim at this one? Am I am I aiming in the wrong? Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, I don't want to. Okay, I, I guess I'll scan a mineral. I was trying to aim for the fish. I am terrible at this. Okay, let's get closer. <laughs> if, if you can't hit your target, you just need to get closer to your target. There we go. Ah, I almost had him. Why can't I scan him? It's not scanning him. Hmm, interesting. Does it? Oh, maybe my scanners. I just realised I haven't done any upgrades on any of my gear. I wanna, I wanna see how deep we can get. <laughs> I, oh, I really wish, like, I wish there was a way to properly see the depth perception that you get in VR when you're watching it on like a YouTube video, or and, like whenever you see it converted onto a screen, you just see it. Like, I, it looks really far away. Like, I can, it, it looks like I'm looking into a big hole, and it feels awesome. Okay, I'm going down, so I'm going to walk. Oh, it's quite pretty down here. Oh, this is, <laughs> this is freaking crazy. Look at this, look at this. The detail and everything looks really good. Oh my gosh, big plant in my face. Oh wow, we have found it to the underwater bonsai tree. This will become the shrine of the ocean geck, the mergek, a new species of jibber. <laughs> I wow this is like the best aquarium ever <laughs> look at this I'm just sitting here I like that it's just got really dark and like brooding looking I also want to shoot this thing because they, they like glow right oh that looks cool uh -huh. Oh, okay. I like it a lot. Yeah, okay, so oceans. <laughs> oceans in VR. <laughs> Freaking awesome. <laughs> I thought space was incredible. I think the oceans are incredible. Planets are... Oh my gosh! It goes deeper! We have to go deeper. We are in oceanception. We are down to another layer. In an underwater ocean. Like, this is... This is freaking ins Have I got my torch? I'm <laughs> freaking out. Oh, yes. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. We've. I kind of want the torch... Ah, uh, do I want the torch on or off? I don't know. That... Oh, I'm, I'm attracting... Hopefully, there's no scary... Chris... Uh, cre Chris? Creatures? Christians? I mixed fish and creatures together. <laughs> my brain is fried. Like, I'm overwhelmed with happiness and excitement right now. What on earth? Oh yeah, let's try out the terrain manipulator. We can cave our way. Oh, oh, that it feels really like ah, because I'm aiming it. Oh, that's cool. This is this feels a lot cooler when you're in VR, like doing terrain manipulator. Like do oh, you can actually you can just dig. You can just dig your own caves, and this like just going for a cave, which would be really boring, not in VR, feels oh. It feels like I'm actually in a little, little tiny claustrophobic cave right now. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is cool. Oh, no, don't want that. Let's go up. Let's go up. Let's dig our... Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. <laughs> so this is why I, uh, this is why I thought I should probably do some Xbox videos not in VR as well as the VR videos because I like I don't know if you guys are enjoying watching me do this but I am having the time of my freaking life playing this game in VR like I, I everything is just so much more fun in VR mode and I, I don't know quite what it is but it's freaking amazing okay I am gonna have a little swim around here and soak it all in get it get it <laughs> and then I think we'll, we'll come back on either another planet or maybe like a station or something. I don't know. I haven't decided what I want to do yet. Um, but yeah, I will. <laughs> I will come back and we'll take a look at something else. Freaking beautiful. Okay, we are back and we went to another planet in this system and oh boy. <laughs> We have an exotic planet. It is one of the, I think they're called chromatic planets. It's the colorless 
planets. Everything is eerie, dark, and faded, like I'm playing in a noir sci-fi novel. <laughs> How? Oh my gosh, this looks freaking creepy as heck. I feel like I've just gone from a wondrous, beautiful adventure game to a horrible, isolated horror game. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. This is cool. This is such a cool looking planet. Okay, let's go and see what little jipperoonies we've got. I'm gonna give you the scanner rooney! Skip blah 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 blah. Let's have a look, see what his notes say. I promise this will be the last set of notes that I check in this episode. I, pr I promise. I, pr I really, I really enjoy the notes at the moment. Uh, found wandering the fevered dreamlike landscape. Of planet, planet name as it pulled through. Uh, I I uh, I changed the name on one of the planets, uh, and then when I checked the description, the description on the creature had updated to the name that I changed it uh, changed it to. So that does actually, when it's working properly, that pulls through the actual name that the planet is called. So if you rename a planet and you check a creature's description that has the name referenced, it will be the name that you changed it to. And I just thought that was really cool. Like, I don't know, it just I don't, it feels more real, you know? Uh, their, their lives? Their lives seem spent in constant anxiety. Tell me about it. They are tense and fearful even on a genetic level. Oh my gosh. How are you? Oh, that's, that's horrible. Genetically fearful. Uh, they snuffle for, <laughs> snuffle? They snuffle for food with their noises, with their noises dug into the dirt. <laughs> some some spelling issues here. <laughs> uh, flicking earth into their mouths with long spiked tongues. Nutrient source is presumed to be soil bound microorganisms. One extendable finger. <laughs> no way. <There's laughs> One extendable finger. Just think about what that means. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's funny. <laughs> Wow, look at how creepy this is. So for anyone who's not like played a lot of No Man's Sky since the last couple of updates, uh, this is one of those new like exotic biomes types that they've added. So it, it's like, I don't know, there's there's ones that are like a really like gray color. There's some that are like no colors except one. So they'll have like red bushes and everything else is all like white and gray. They're super bizarre, but I don't know, they, they feel very alien, almost like all the life has been stripped away from them. It's kind of strange, but I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, oh, if you put the scanner on, it kind of uh, it kind of makes it look like how you almost how you would see the planet if it did have color, right? Oh, that's pretty cool. I don't think, I don't think I noticed that before. Okay, let's go for a little run around here. I mean the. Uh, this is, I, I'm surprised actually at how smoothly this is running for me. It looks great, it feels great, I'm not having any issues. I'm not having like the horrendous blur that makes it unplayable that some people are suffering from. I, 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 I really hope that it gets fit. <gasps> what in the world? We've got multicolored grass on a planet that doesn't have color. <laughs> that is so bizarre. It almost looks like it would be green and light blue if it was a colored planet. I love that. They've added, like, so many of the things that kind of, for some reason or other, got taken away at points. Like, the long grass, the tonal multicolored grass, like, the two-tone grass, the uh, the caves that have grass all the way around them, all the way inside. They've kind of added it all, all back in. <sighs> I'm definitely... This is... This kind of feels like the culmination of where No Man's Sky has been heading, you know? Like, all the best bits of all of the updates all just there plus VR <laughs> and uh, VR is my favorite bit oh my gosh I wonder uh, we can't we just went to one ocean right so I feel like we probably shouldn't go to another one hello oh look at this adorable little fellow cute how cute what oh I thought that's a giant creature up there but it's a big rock or something what is this what on earth is that Oh, how cool does this view look, though? Like, the black and white with the uh, the white stars in the background and the freaking ring planet. I think this is a double ring planet, actually. Was this the double ringed one? There's a, if it, yeah, it is. There's, there's two rings around this planet. It looks crazy. If the... What is this? 
What? I don't, I don't, I'm in creative mode, so I shouldn't be scared, but I'm still, I'm still scared. How freaking, what on earth? That looks awesome. It looks like one of those things. It looks like the, um, it's obviously some new type of plant, but it, it looks like a, a solar system, like a little solar system model, like rotating around. Oh, that's cool as heck. And it's glowing. It's like a little space nerd, little glow night lamp thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I always wanted one of these when I was a kid. I always wanted one of those, like, you get the really cool ones with, like, the big bright sun in the middle, and they're all, like, the little uh, planets that kind of have lights inside them, so they have they give off, like, a glow as, like, night lights for, for kids and stuff. It reminds me of that. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Okay, we should turn the HUD back on. Uh, I just want to see... I'll put the HUD back on for a bit. Uh, I should, where am I? Am I, I move all over the place. When I'm playing VR, I have no idea where I am. Uh, let's go, what are general options? I wanna put the HUD back on. I had a couple of people asking me about some of the um, settings that I was playing with. So video options, that's what I'm playing with. I've turned the gamma down since the last episode because I, I thought it looked a bit better. Uh, frame rate lock, I have that disabled. 100% field of view. Uh, on everything, motion blur to zero, and the net scan lines, all of that turned completely off. So that's how I'm playing at the moment. That's how I enjoy it. What on earth is this? Hexaberry. I, this is freaking awesome. I really like this. I, I don't, I don't, I want to take a picture of it, but there's no photo mode, right, in VR just yet. Um, I want, oh, that's cool. I'm going to, I'm going to, I need to point at it. Oh no, do it. No! No! That is not what I wanted to do! No! <laughs> no! L place the destroyer of worlds and all that is beautiful. I did not I did not want to do that. I wanted to mine it. And then I realized I didn't want to mine it. I wanted to pick up whatever berry it was going to give me. And then I accidentally just panicked and shot it. And turned it into an ugly freaking rock. God dang it! I am such a fool. <laughs> I can't believe I've done that. Oh no. Okay, well <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna walk. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna just walk around on this planet until eventually I find another one of those. Um I oh yeah, I I, I kind of so that is HUD back on and then this is HUD off. I feel like maybe not many people have tried that in VR yet. But with VR off, if you if you just want to like be in it, be in the moment, like turn off the HUD, don't do it if you're not in creative mode because you will die. <laughs> turn off the HUD and just you're there. That's it. Like you just feel like you're just out walking around, going for a nice little stroll on this crazy alien world. Man, we are finding some cool things. And it is, once again, so the only issue, what issues have we got, have I, have I had at the moment? So the blur thing doesn't seem to be a problem for me. I had um, the, pa the patch thing when I'm shooting the ships in space. That's the only issue I think I've got at the moment, right? That's just uh, still showing up, the little black tile things. So that, that happened in Next. I remember when I first started playing Next, everything I mined or everywhere I looked, every time I saw a tree, that was it. Oh, the... Oh, oh my gosh, the sun is rising in there and uh, the sky is red. Oh, this, this is freaking, that's scary. What a scary freaking, oh, like a blood red sky on a, like a colorless planet. That's ominous. I feel like I'm in the setting of some like weird indie cult classic cannibal horror film or something, you know? <laughs> anyway i think that's going to do it for this episode i am going to be playing more there is going to be so much more of this in, in uh, vr and non-vr because like this is all i want to do with my free time right now and i don't have much free time <laughs> i'm going to the uk meetup tomorrow that i organized we've got uh basically no man sky fans that can make it to Guildford tomorrow are all going to meet up at a little pub called the Three Pigeons and just kind of hang out and have a good time meeting people that love the game as well. So I've been doing loads of like preparation for that. I've been working like crazy and then the update came out like in the middle of the week when I was at work. And I, I just, 
I just want like a month solid to do nothing but this. <laughs> oh, and I'm going on holiday soon. I'm not, like on the second or third week of September. I'm gonna be going on an actual holiday, like out of the country. Uh, so I think I'm gonna have to take my PlayStation and the VR and the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me so, please. <laughs> All right, guys, and that's going to do it for this one. I will catch you in the next one very soon for some more No Man's Sky and our beautiful space adventures. Take care, guys, and peace. Of course, before we end the video, I want to give an absolutely huge shout out for those Patreon supporters that have stuck with me. Akak, Anarchy, Dale from the Atlas Hub, Fuchsia, Jeremy J, Joannes A, J Technique, Kyle Culver, Lukash M, Lyle, Mac for a Day, Mark F, Mark D, Mingri, NTB, Ongrad, Autumn Long, Rasmus K, Technical Gaming 101, The Golden Geck, Todd C, Todd H, Vanilla, and Oivind S. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for continuing to support me.